Barry Toppins, Michael Koenig, Leanne Sweden. This is the Mansion Poker.com. Poker Dome Challenge, and what a challenge it has been. Welcome to the game, and believe me, it is game on right now. Three players remaining. Only one will be standing at the end. There's the short stack right there. Billy Usher at 45,000 chips. Next to him, Ed Betzel, still the chip leader, despite being doubled up by Vince, or Vincent doubling up through Ed Betzel in the last hand. Vincent at 86,000 chips, but Betzel still in a very good position. He's played boldly all afternoon, all evening, I should say, and I expect that he will continue to play that way. Vincent has done a good job living up to his nickname, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo, that's right. Now Betzel with an ace jack. I'm all in. Vincent going all in. And he is going to get called. You bet he is. I can't see uh, Betzel you know, getting away from the ace jack call. here. Wow. And Usher calls. Usher. Usher. <laughs> this is a, now this is a very call. easy I call here. Call. Betzel could knock out both players here, Barry. He, can, he, he has them both covered. <laughs> and you see three <laughs> jacks on his play. Hey, man, how do I walk into that? Look, Look at all the jacks. Come, Come on. Sixes. Come on. There are sixes. Let's get an ace out there. Hand. Come on. Here we go. How do you Betzel is the leader. Fairly good sized leader. Three jacks are out there already. Please. Usher Three looking six. for a six. Vincent oh, well, looking for a time. ten. It was a queen. No more space. Five. All right. Eight. Four. God, one time. So Betzel is still one the time. leader. One time. Please, one time. Please. God, Look at that heart rate, right, Barry. Oh, heart rate. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, You're like a dude. Ninety percent right. Ninety percent favorite. I can't play that. Four. Betzel is still the leader. One card, One card to go. remaining. Could be it. Betzel can't watch. Oh man! Come on! It's over. It's an eight, and that's it. And Betzel has won. And what a dramatic win for the out-of-work furniture warehouseman from Fraser, Michigan. He puts two players out, and his heart rate couldn't have gone any higher without coming right out through his chest. Right. Boy, if you had to pick one guy who really needed this first prize, it's that man right there, Ed Betzel. He played marvelously. $25,000 tonight and a chance at $50,000. And who do you know? Maybe a million. Well, give it up for this guy, Ed Betzel. The knockout punch not once, but twice on the same hand. And a lot of cards could beat him, too. At least six cards could have beat him. But instead, he puts out Billy Usher, and he puts out Johnny Vincent in one fell swoop. Here's Leanne. Thanks, Barry. Yes, I'm with the second and third place finishers. Johnny, I have to ask you, you were second going into that hand. All three of you went all in. How did you feel when Betzel turned over that, that ace, Jack? I was thinking, how can one person have so much luck? Um, no, it was pretty pretty bad. I, I got a bad read off him. I played it pretty badly. Um, when he raised initially, I, I go on my reads pretty quick, and um, I just got a read that, that he was low and I was going to go, and, and I knew he was going to call, and I thought there's a good chance to lock it up right now. Bad read, bad mistake, he won. Billy, i got to ask you, you were the chip leader for most of the event here, and, and then you kind of skipped a couple times, and you, and you kind of messed up a little bit, so you say, right? Well, first of all, I want to uh, say thank you to everyone that's involved with this whole tournament because it was amazing. Second of all, thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, No Limit Hold'em is a game of uh, you know one mistake and come back to haunt you. I folded ace-queen, and uh, it's ironic enough, I think I would have actually busted Ed on that hand if I had stayed in. And then uh, I lost a race with ace-3 to 2-2. Two, two. That hurt. Uh, on the last hand, I was calling no matter what I had in, in the hole. I wasn't even going to look because I was so short-stacked I had, I had to play. All right, well, thank you, guys. Back over to you, Barry. You could be standing right where Ed Betzel is standing now, and that is in the winner's circle. All you have to do is log on to MansionPoker.com, register, and enter daily online qualifiers, and it could be you. Every week, six lucky players from around the world flown right here to fabulous downtown Las Vegas to compete inside the Poker Dome. All you have to do is log on to MansionPoker.com for a chance at a million dollars. Right now, to Leanne Tweeden with the winner. Thanks, Barry. Ed, I have, first of all, I have to say congratulations. $25,000 richer. You know, I have to say this was one of the most exciting finishes. You knocked off two guys in one hand. It was completely amazing. I was kind of blown away by the whole ending, how it ended in one big hand. 
you know, on, on the questionnaire, you told us that you were an unemployed furniture worker right now. What are you going to do with $25,000 besides take me to dinner tonight? Uh, after dinner, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with $25,000, i am going to definitely spoil my daughter. You know, we're going to have some fun, definitely put some money in the bank, and hopefully come back and win the $50,000. Oh, well, look at Candace. She has your $25,000 check. You will be back in two weeks for the $50,000 shot, and then possibly a million dollars. Unbelievable. I'm unbelievable. I'm at a loss of words right now. Excellent. Congratulations, Ed. Barry, back over to you. All right. Thanks very much, Leanne. And a worthy winner. I don't think there's any question about that. Ed Betzel will get a seat at our qualifying table, and he's $25,000 to the good. That's a wrap for us. For my partners, Michael Koenig and Leanne Tweeden, I'm Barry Tompkins. So long, everybody.